All right, so I'm going to be checking out, out Suck Up. It's a game that's doing the rounds at the moment in terms of streamer bait, uh, but it's genuinely a good looking game. I've seen like five minutes of it, but the premise of it is you're a vampire and you need to devour people. And so you dress up and you go to a house and you just try to con them into letting you in. But the unique thing about this is that it works off AI and voice recognition. So. Wow, hey yo, what's poppin'? You here to challenge me to a dance battle or something? Yes, it is I. I am the pop princess from Yakuza 5, and I am here to challenge you to a dance battle. Let's get it on. Uh... Uh, sorry, but I don't think we can handle dance. I don't think I can handle a dance battle with a pop princess from Yakuza already? <laughs> okay, well, already a failure. Well, dude, what brings you to my humble abode at this hour? Did you come to discuss the latest blockchain innovations, or are you just here for the life-changing ride of Bitcoin? Hello, good sir. I am here to sell you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I am here to sell you this picture of a bridge, but not the actual picture, just a receipt. Thanks for the offer, but I'm not really buying receipts for bridge pictures. I'll pass on the opportunity. Good luck, though. I said sir. I would not say sir. I was playing a character. What's up, dude? Can you please keep your midnight shenanigans away from my domain of eternal darkness? It's like so annoying. I'm so tired of the light and heard around the neighborhood that you have a pretty sick domain of darkness. Can we bask in the glory of the night together? <laughs> Look, I get it. Darkness is my thing, but you can't just waltz here and expect to bask in the glory of the night like it's some kind of party. Darkness isn't just a trend. It is who I am. So unless you're ready to fully commit to the emo life, I suggest you find somewhere else to hang. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to commit. I have six copies of Green Day's debut album on me right now. Would you like to listen to them? Oh, yeah. Wait, did you say Green Day? Dude, those guys are legends. If you're serious about embracing the emo life, then we can definitely chill and listen to some Green Day together. Just don't expect me to crack a smile, okay? Yeah, don't expect me to crack a smile either. Smile is such a conformist thing to do anyway. Hello. Finally, someone who gets it. Smiles are totally overrated, so I gotta admit, you seem legit. But before I let you into my darkness, then, I need you to know. Can you recite the lyrics to Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance? <laughs> Singing is conformist, man. True fans don't need to prove it. Seriously, you're gonna play that card? Look, I know singing can be cheesy and all, but it's like the ultimate emo anthem. If you can't hum along to Welcome to the Black Parade, how am I supposed to know you're the real deal? I'm starting to doubt your commitment, man. I'm starting to doubt your commitment. What's this? You grilling me about being a fan? How dare you? You're not a true fan either. Unless you let me in, that is. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold up. You don't get to question my commitment, okay? I've been living the emo life since before you were born. And just because you can't have a little skepticism doesn't mean you automatically get access to my domain. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Well, 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 who do we have here? State your business and prepare to face the consequences. I have a gigantic bowl of gabagool and spaghetti. Would you like to have some? Gabagool and spaghetti, huh? That's an offer I can't refuse, but I ain't letting just anyone into my turf. Tell me, what's the catch? Uh, no catch there, Paisano. Listen, if the gabagool and spaghetti ain't enough for you, I got some lasagna as well in the car. All right, Paisano, you got my attention with that lasagna, but I, before I let you in, I gotta ask. You ain't wearing no wire, are ya? Can't let no snitches into my territory. Snitches get stitches, don't you worry. You can check if you want. That's what I like to hear. No snitches on you. Welcome to my turf, Paisano. Let's dig into that bowl of gabagool spaghetti and lasagna. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I ain't no sleeping with the vampires! Alright, there we go. <laughs> I love the music, it's like... Fake Benny Hill. Imagine just not straight up telling the emo kid you're a vampire and want to suck their blood. Holy crap, that might be a valid strategy. What? Konnichiwa, Sony kun OMG, what a surprise to see you at my doorstep late at night. I hope you're not here to challenge me to a d duel or anything. Hello. I decided to give up my life of legitimate businesses and become kawaii. Can you teach me how to become kawaii? Oh my gosh, a fellow kawaii enthusiast. I would absolutely be delighted to teach you the ways of kawaii. First things first, we need you to work on your wardrobe. Have you considered cute pastel colored clothes and accessorizing with bows and ribbons? Kawaii, ne? Oh my god, that sounds so kawaii des. Please, 
Tell me more. What should I wear on my head? Whoa. Sugoi! For the ultimate kawaii look, you can try wearing a fluffy animal ear headband like cute Nekomimi, or perhaps a big floppy bow that matches your outfit. It's all about adding that extra touch of cuteness, Des. Oh, damn. And I just gave away my last fluffy animal headband. Do you have any spare you could lend me? Arigato gozaimasu, gangsta-san. I have just the perfect fluffy animal headband for you. Please come inside and I can lend it to you. <laughs> it's alright, he's gone. I didn't even finish my cosplay! Well, this, I, I, so far so good. Hey there, office superstar. What's the occasion? What brings you knocking so late at night? I hope it's something epic, because I'm ready to bring that energy and excitement. Wait a minute, is this Mr. Beast? Hello there, good sir. I have an idea for a video that will get you one million likes, and all you have to do is dunk someone in a tank of lard. Uh, thanks for the suggestion, but I'm gonna pass on that lard dunking video. It's not my style, you know? But hey, keep those ideas coming, and maybe we'll find something that's a better fit. Damn it. I guess Mr. Beast has standards. Uh-oh, neighborhood watch. Shit. Gotta do something for charity? Damn it, I should have added for charity. Would you dunk yourself into a tank of lard for, for charity? Well, ain't you a tall drink of water? What brings you to my neck of the woods? Nothing but your birthday suit. Please help me, someone stole all my clothes and it's freezing outside and I don't have any money, please! Sorry there, bud. But I can't have a- you're wandering around in my- your birthday suit. Best find a way- Really?! Find some clo- you- you f Wow, that's cruelty. I'm naked. Yeah, but I explained why I'm naked. Someone stole all my clothes. I'm asking for help. We're neighbors. What on earth are you doing on my doorstep half naked? Put some clothes on. No, please, help. Someone stole all my clothes. They mugged me, and the neighbor next door won't help. Please, you're my last hope. Help me. I'm sorry to hear that, but I can't help you. You should call the police or find someone else to assist you. Goodbye. Fucking heartless motherfuckers. Who are you and who are you here? Please tell me you're not here because of my daughter. Good evening, sir. We've heard reports of someone stealing clothes in the neighborhood. We believe your daughter might be involved. Would I be able to come in and ask you some questions? <laughs> what? My daughter would never be involved like something like that. I don't want any trouble. I think it's best you leave now. Goodbye. God damn it! <laughs> you can't say goodbye. I am the police. I am the law. <laughs> no way. My daughter would never stoop so low as to steal clothes. This conversation is over. Goodbye. I thought that was going to work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the world is going on here? Can I help you or something? Hello, neighbor. Listen, have you had some fake police officer knock on your door? I'm here war warning the neighbors. Uh, fake police officers? Oh no, that's terrible. I haven't experienced that myself, but it's definitely something to be cautious about. Thank you for warning us, neighbor. No problem. They go around and they start blaming your relatives for something they didn't do, like stealing clothes. Oh no, that absolutely is unacceptable. We'll need to look out for each other. If anything like that happens, make sure to report it to the authorities right away. Our family safety is our top priority. Absolutely, and worst of all, they distract you at the door and then someone else sneaks in through your back window to plant bugs? Have you noticed any bugs in your house? Oof. Bugs in the house? That's a nightmare. I haven't noticed anything suspicious, but now I'm worried. I better double check every nook and cranny to make sure there are no wanted guests. Thanks for the help, neighbor. No problem. Hey, listen, if you want, I can help. They did it to my house and I know exactly what I'm looking for. That's incredibly kind of you, neighbor. I really appreciate your offer to help. Please come in and show me what to look for. I can use all the help I can get. All right, we got there in the end. I'm not ready for the big sleep. All right, cool. Oh, Homer Benign? What a surprise to see you here so late. Is everything okay, dear? I noticed you have cleaning supplies outside your house. I got worried. Is there anything okay? Wait, that's bad. I can't cancel it. <laughs> it's gonna say what that's bad. <laughs> Oh dear, I apologize for the mess outside. I was just tidying up. How do you cancel the speech? I appreciate your concern. Oh, ah! Yeah, that was my bad. I messed up. I had something and then I, I thought, no way, it's a bad idea. Need to get 31 people. Yeah. Each one has a method to it. <laughs> Jessica overworked. Ugh, what is it now, Homer? Can't I just get one goddamn moment of peace? What's so important that made you knock my door at this ungodly hour? Jessica. I've realized that I'm in love with you. 
Can we talk about this? Are you kidding me, Homer? I don't have time for your ridiculous crushes. Get out of my office and focus on something important for once. Your office? This, this is your house! Oh, my delicate sensibilities. What a delightful surprise to have you knocking on my door at such an hour. How absolutely thrilling. Fragile Fred. Fred. I have wings growing out of my back. What do I do? Oh, how dare you come here with your wild stories and attempt to disturb my fragile state of mind. I simply cannot handle such nonsense. Goodbye. Well, fuck you two. Well, 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 look who it is. Homer Benign, my nosy neighbor. What brings you here at this ungodly hour? Did the grass tell you a secret? Or did you just miss my charming company? Oh, I missed your charming company. That's why I'm here. Ah, flattery will let you get you nowhere, Homer. Homer. But I must admit, your brown quiff and suspenders combo make you look like a hipster version of a 1950s dad. To spill the beans, what's the latest gossip in the neighborhood? I've heard there's someone going around impersonating police officers trying to steal clothing. Impersonating police officers to steal clothing? Now that's a new low. Who would do such a thing? I guess we need a fashion police to catch these fashion thieves. What? Say, Homer, have you seen any suspicious... Anyone suspicious lurking around? I have indeed. They were hanging around your house just 30 minutes ago. That's why I came over, to be honest. You think you can fool me with that story, Homer? Nice try, but I'm not falling for it. I had enough of your pranks. Now get lost before I give you a reason to run away for real. What? Well, well, what do we have here? The link, the missing link between a math textbook. Speak up, nerd. I haven't got all night. Hello, my name is Joma, and um, I'm here to invite you to a concert. Concert, huh? What kind of music are we talking about here? If it's anything like your fashion sense, I might consider it. It's this new band. You probably haven't heard of them because they're brand new and you have to be into music to know them. Oh, a new band? How original. I always love discovering hidden gems. All right, nerd, you picked my intro. Tell me more about this new band. And if they're as unique as your fashion clothes, I might tag along. Well, the lead singer actually sings inside of a barrel. So then the acoustics resonate inside the barrel and then it comes out of the microphone. Singing inside a barrel? Huh, that's definitely one way to make an impression. I have to admit, I'm intrigued. All right, nerd, you won me over with your eccentric band. I'll join you for the concert, but only if you guarantee a barrel full of laughs. Sounds good. I wouldn't want to embarrass you with my hat, but do you mind if I leave it here at your place and then we can get going? Hold it right there, nerd. I may have agreed to go to the concert with you, but leaving your embarrassing hat in my place? No way, take that fashion tragedy with you. But better yet, burn it. The concert might be terrible, but I won't talk. Oh, really? Really? I can't leave a hat. It, it looks like a diaper, but... Uh-oh. Quickly. Oh, wow. Someone actually knocked on my door. This must be some kind of cosmic check. But hey, welcome to my melancholic abode. Fallout Roy? Hello. It is me, your long-lost father. I once went by the name of Fallout Boy. Oh, great. Another disappointing twist in my already tragic existence. Sorry, I don't have time for fake family reunions. Wow, this is... I'm just a terrible liar. Oh, dude, what brings you to this ding and depressing place at such an ungodly hour? Hello, I am a prince and I have inherited three million dollars from my father, but I need a safe haven to deposit the money into. Can we please discuss this? Ugh, as if life couldn't get more absurd. Look, I'm not interested in your sad little scam, so take your fake prince act somewhere... Alright. I mean, it's gotta fit the personality, it's like... Someone that is like emo punk, I guess. Oh, great. Another unexpected bit is What do you want, killer? Get lost and bother someone else who still has a straight of sanity left. Hello. I heard someone was bothering you, and I'm here to take care of them. Would you like to see my hockey mask and chainsaw? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't need any help, especially from not a creep like you. Get out of here before I call the cops. Uh-oh. Nothing to see here. Oh my goodness, honey. What happened to you? Are you okay? Let's get you inside and find you some clothes. Bless your heart. Oh, thank you. I've been to six houses and no one wants to help me. Someone stole all my clothes and mugged me, please. Oh my, poor dear, of course you can come in. Don't worry, mom, I'll take care of you. Let's get you cleaned up. Wow! <laughs> Holy crap, that was... <sighs> if there's any lesson to be learnt here is just don't help anyone.